Hi guys, it's Jimmy. <clears throat> and today I'm unboxing this uh, Rolex I picked up a couple weeks ago. So, I'll quickly get this opened up so you can see what it is. I hate those videos that drag out the unboxing. Pointless. Anyway. Here we are, typical box. And what we have in here is a two-tone Daytona, so with the white dial. Uh, bought as a gift for my daughter, youngest daughter. Um, very pleased in uh, you know being able to source this white dial. Uh, it doesn't really pick up on the camera, but the dial it, it looks, you know, it looks like it's enamel. It's that nice. Yeah, it's like a like it's a like porcelain, should I say? Uh, the uh, you know the gold uh, rings on the sub dials, gold hands, gold indices, uh, just stunning. Really pops. Uh, red Daytona uh, font on the uh, white background. Yeah, it really really pops. Same as the black font at the top uh, on the white background. It's just it's gorgeous. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's got that very young vibe. Very summer-like, uh, bit of a summer fun type watch. Uh, so it looks very young. And uh, that's the reason I, I, I chose to, chose this together with my wife. Because originally we were going to give this watch here, but the black dial is just uh, it's, it's too masculine. Um, especially after spending some time thinking about our, our oldest daughter has this Zenith Daytona, uh, and that's nice and feminine in those colors. And my wife has the solid gold with the baguette dial. That's very feminine. So I thought to gift this to our youngest with the black dial, it's just, uh, yeah, it's a little bit too masculine. So that'll just, uh, Stay in the safe for now. I'll just keep that one for myself. Not sure what to do with that one. But uh, this here is a winner for a young girl. It's going to look fantastic. I've already sized it. So hopefully it fits. Uh, and it, yeah, in a few days' time, uh, we'll be gifting this to her. And I just hope that uh, I know she'll love it. She'll absolutely adore it. And yeah, I hope she keeps it for her whole life pass it down to her children that's yeah as a parent that's the things we I, th I think about and uh yeah just gorgeous it's a bit dull in some spots still got some of the plastic on there uh, has to come off but uh let her do that it's just stunning i'd love to wear it myself i think it's a very fun looking daytona um yeah it's a bit of a sleeper but uh, worked out good. I got it in time. Um, yeah, so the, the guy I deal with, he uh, sourced this from another state, which uh, really helped me out. Uh, otherwise, I was going to start looking for, I was going to start actually looking for another Zenith. Um, yeah, something similar to this. Maybe get matching ones for the for my two girls. But uh, yeah, my oldest daughter's got the Zenith. My youngest will have the, the current version. And uh, Wife's got the gold one. I've got the, well, I'll keep that black dial two tone for myself. And I've got the, I've got a pre ceramic stainless as well, black dial. So, but I think I really prefer them on women. I love a Daytona on a woman. I think uh, it's just magic on them. Uh, myself, every time I put it on, it just feels like it's a little bit small. Uh, and yeah, when I see it on the girls, I, uh, yeah. I think it's stunning. Um, yeah, so much so. Mine only, one's just been sitting in the coffin. I got this in late 2015. So it's one of the last of these. Um, and I think I wore it on holiday once, uh, a couple other times. And that's about it. I must admit, on holiday, I wore it in the swimming pool. It's pretty cool swimming with a Daytona. But uh, since then, 
is pretty much a set in the box. Um, but with this, I want them to wear it as much as possible. Probably won't be wearing it at school, not a good idea. But uh, yeah, on the weekends and anywhere we go on holiday, I hope that she can wear this watch. So that's that. Look in here, you know, you know the drill. There's not much. The swing tag there. Um, got the new soul card. Uh, just the book. A little booklet in there. Not much to show really. We know all the standard stuff in the new for a new watch. Um, I've already removed the links. So in here, I've just wrapped up the extra links. So I've taken out three. I'm hoping that that is enough links because, uh, oh no, I can still remove more. Still got a couple more I can take out. So I think that's about the size anyway. Got the micro adjust, I can adjust. Uh, one thing I notice as I'm getting older, uh, it's hard to focus on the screwdrivers when I'm doing the links, careful not to scratch the bracelet. Um, yeah, so, who knows, I might need glasses soon. But uh, that's all I've got to show today, guys. Oh yeah, and I'm, I'm wearing my Rado. I've got that back on. Been wearing this all week on the farm. Um, you can see it's not too clean. I did wipe it down, but it's still a bit. But yeah, bloody good watch this Rado. It's no Daytona, that's for sure. This thing is stunning. Like I said, it just looks porcelain, that doll. It's hard to sort of show that it looks very thick. Might have to do with the way those gold, um, the gold sub dolls are sort of countersunk. Just stunning. I think I may be more excited than my daughter, to tell you the truth. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure she'll be over the moon. That's all today, guys. Uh, apologize for not doing any videos recently. Just sort of busy with work. Uh, until winter sort of kicks in, we're you know, very busy. Um, and this year, being my son's first year on the farm, uh, you know, training him up and everything, uh, yeah, it's uh, not a lot of spare time. But it's all good, I'm very proud of him, he's, he's working hard, he's never hasn't missed a day, started in December, um, and so yeah, very proud. And uh, everything's going well. Uh, and that's it guys, hope you enjoyed that, and until next time, have a great day, bye bye.